So a lot has happened in the past little over a month. Like, a lot. May 18th, 2021, everything was going well. It was just a normal day, kind of. It was actually the day that I graduated and the day I lost my channel. So sometime early in the morning of May 18th, my channel got banned from YouTube. I was actually asleep and we'll actually go over the reason why my channel got banned later in the video. I didn't notice it until I woke up and I was just going on with my day. It was just a normal day to me, except I was graduating. And at the time I was very addicted to checking YouTube studio, answering comments, checking my sub count and views and making sure everything was healthy on my channel. It wasn't healthy for myself, but I wanted to make sure my channel was still growing, still thriving and making sure my content was actually still doing pretty well. And so I tried to check YouTube studio whenever I woke up and it said that there was an error and I thought it was very, very weird and that the YouTube studio app must have been having some problems or something like that. So I tried to check up on the YouTube studio app online to see if there was any downs or anything like that. And there wasn't. And so I was very, very wrong that the YouTube studio app was having problems. So later that day, I actually ended up going to my senior breakfast and I was talking with my friends and one of them looked up my channel because I mentioned I was having trouble with YouTube studio and that it wasn't letting me view my channel. And they said my channel was gone and I didn't believe them, of course. Like, why would my channel be gone? What was the reason that YouTube would ever like terminate my channel? Whenever I looked it up, it said the evil words that you never want to see whenever you have a channel. This channel has been terminated. I was very, very stunned. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Why would my channel get banned? What reason did YouTube ban my channel for? So I checked my email, heart absolutely pounding and pounding fast. And there I saw it, an email saying that one of my videos had been taken down. And then I saw another email that said my channel had been banned and it didn't follow the YouTube guidelines. And I was very, very confused because I do follow the YouTube guidelines and I don't go against TOS in any of my content. So my heart sank. YouTube had banned my channel and taken down two of the videos, one of them being the 24 hour live stream of the price of Dogecoin and the other being a phasmophobia video that I just did with my friends. The reason YouTube took them down, the reason that they said is because it's harmful and dangerous. Saying that there was illegal actions in the live stream and video, I don't know why because there was nothing illegal in the live stream at all. It was just a price of Dogecoin and how much Dogecoin was being traded. And uh, as of TOS, that's not against terms of service. And the Phasmophobia video, I don't know like why they took that down because it, it definitely wasn't harmful and dangerous. It was just me and my friends playing a video game, having some scares, having some fun. So I don't know why they took that down either. So later the day when I could actually contact YouTube and email them to get this figured out, they replied the same day just hours after I contacted them or contacted the email that I saw. And they said that my channel would be reinstated, that they went through and they saw, oh, we made a mistake. And I was super relieved and super excited. And I was talking with my friends and one of them said it would take about a week or two to get my channel back. And I actually emailed the same email asking them how long until my channel would be back or about how long until my channel would be back. And I got an error message saying that I couldn't email that email again for some reason. And so I just like left it. I got no reply and I waited about, the, about a week or two to see if my channel would come back or when it would come back. And I heard nothing else about my channel since that, that first email. So I tweeted out on Twitter and YouTube uh, actually DM'd me on Twitter about some stuff, some articles and whatnot that I needed to go through and some different forms and that sort of stuff. And I, I just proceeded with all the things, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I just wanted to get my channel back. So June 5th, I actually got an email from the YouTube support team and they started helping me. We go back and forth through email saying what stuff they need from me and me emailing the, what they need. The entire process took a little over a week of just back and forth and doing some extra stuff. Finally, on June 13th, 
my channel is back. I get the email that it is finally back and I'm super excited, but I was in, I was actually in North Carolina whenever my channel came back, so I can really do a whole lot besides send out a community post and write out on Discord. I couldn't make a video or anything because, well, you know, I was in a different state, so... But anyway, it's actually, that took almost an entire month to get my channel back. And during that time, Ludwig actually got his channel taken down uh, for child harmness or whatever, something like that. And he got his channel back up the next day. I mean, to me, it just kind of proves uh, what YouTube is trying or like all about. Like if you have bigger numbers, YouTube will definitely look at you. And that makes sense. Uh, Ludwig has built up his brand and all these other people have built up their brands. So, I mean, they kind of deserve to get all their respect from YouTube and that sort of stuff. But it just, it really sucked that it took almost an, an entire month to get my channel back whenever it can take them literally hours to get theirs back. About the live stream and about the phasmophobia video, I asked them about it, but the person that I was talking to couldn't really do anything about that. And I also saw that I lost monetization. I'm no longer a part of the YouTube partner program, so I don't earn money from any of my videos. And I can reapply July 3rd, but I emailed them about it uh, about a week ago. And they said that they were keeping it final. Like they weren't going to give me monetization or anything like that. And I got like over 100 emails saying that I got copyright strikes on my videos, even though these videos have been up for years before and they never got copyright strikes. So I don't know what was up with that. And a video, a live stream that I did actually got a copyright claim released. And maybe I should have kept these videos up because they were, they were all privated and unlisted. So nobody could view them anyway, uh, but they still got a copyright strike that I just deleted them. I was kind of upset that I hadn't lost monetization, but I was also very, very glad that I at least got my channel back. YouTube could have just said no to giving my channel back and just let me be terminated from YouTube, uh, not having this YouTube channel that I absolutely love and having the audience, you guys, that I have and I, I'm really happy that they did decide to give me my channel back and reinstate it. So thank you YouTube. I really really do appreciate it. But please make it a little bit faster for us small ones. <laughs> As of right now I actually opened up a Patreon if you all want to support me in a different way. Uh, but trust me, you don't need to. I actually appreciate you guys just watching my videos even if I can't make a living off of them right now and make YouTube my job. Uh, I, I really, really do appreciate you guys just sticking around watching my videos, uh, no matter what it is. Now, I know this isn't Dogecoin content, but we might get there eventually. And I can't thank you guys enough for just watching my videos. It really, really does mean a lot. You have no idea. Anyway, the same day I got the email about my channel getting back, uh, yeah, I just got bombarded with these copyright claims and these private and unlisted videos that I had up for, I think about four or five years before. Uh, they never got claimed, so I just deleted them. I, I, like, I didn't need them. Nobody was gonna see them at all. Uh, so, oh well. <laughs> so what now? What content will I be making? Well, I will just try and touch up on Dogecoin a little bit and just cryptocurrency overall. I will also be making some gaming videos like what you see here. Uh, this is actually Monster Hunter World. Uh, it's a very, very fun game and I will be doing live streams over on Twitch. And that's also where this footage came from is my live stream on Twitch. So go ahead and go check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash decisive underscore TV. Go give me a follow and press that bell notification. Uh, just so you guys know whenever I do go live because I don't have a schedule. I just go live whenever I kind of feel like it, you know? But I'll also be making some Minecraft videos and just adventures in a server I have and just some other random things. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the content to come. I, I, I've had this over a month break and it's definitely, I've gotten the motivation to make videos again ever since I did the live stream. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the content because I will definitely enjoy making it. So thank you all so much again. It really, really does mean a lot and I can't wait to make more content for y'all and get back into the swing of things. Thank you.